so today I'll be discussing about damage stability continue We are discussing about the loss buoyancy method and uh, we're calculating the damage and moment of inertia. Now, before that, uh, we have to uh, calculate the center, the damage center of rotation. So, this is center of rotation is your center of the area, and this you can find out. It's subtracting the moment of the area. So, this will be A1 midship to F1 minus divided by the net area. So, A1 is the undamaged area that is the total area of the ship that is multiplied by the distance between the center of rotation and midship. So, here actually last class I have given the diagram. So, initially the ship was floating at waterline, so this was WL, and then there was a parallel sinkage, and the waterline was WL1, and the final trimmed waterline that we got was WL2. And this was your, the midship. And our damage compartment was forward of midship. So, if we consider, let us take a intact tank inside the damage compartment which was not flooded by water. So, that volume was subtracted and we got the lost buoyancy. So, this was distributed over the remaining water plane area. And after that, by getting the new center of flotation of the damaged water plane, they say this is at F1 prime and the original was F prime. And we have calculated the trim about F1 prime, that is the new center of flotation. Now, so uh, this distance from midship to F1, this is the distance that we have calculating. This is the midship to F1 prime. So, that uh, it is uh, the, so the, the original moment that is uh, for this water plane that is WL and one, one, one calculates the original uh, area multiplied by the center of rotation of that area minus A1 is your the water plane that has been on the damage compartment into the from midship to F1 is the say mid, middle of this is F1 and this is the distance midship F1. So, multiplied by this we get the moment which is subtracted from the original water plane divided by the net area. So, now let us try to write this areas in terms of the transfer centimeter of 
immersion. So, this will give us sorry f 1 prime this is equals to 100 by rho into T p c 1 multiplied by midship f 1 minus 100 by rho into T p c 1 midship f 1. So, the previous class I have derived the water plane area from the transfer centimeter of, of immersion. So, this is the final So, this will give us finally the position of the damaged center of flotation. So, now this has to be substituted in our original moment of inertia calculation of the damaged water plane. So, that is given by I L 1 prime, prime denotes the damaged water plane. That means, the damaged compartment moment of inertia has been taken out from the original moment of inertia. So, this we have derived the equation and now simply substitute the midship f 1 bar that is the uh, center of flotation in this equation. So, this will be hundred by low m c t 1 moment to change stream per centimeter that is m c t 1. So, this is the, this factor is the uh, is the, uh, the, the transfer of moment to the midship and the water plane area that has been subtracted is this V s multiplied by <coughs> inside the compartment 100 by rho T p c 1 into which you now this will came from the moment of inertia of considering the water plane area to be a rectangle. So, 1 12th L B cube that uh, this is 1 12th A uh, S square. If this was S, so this was derived last class S and this was say B. And then S into B is your area. <coughs> now, this has to be simplified. Now, in order to simplify this, let us take mu S. A mu s is your surface permeability. Uh, 
that is the amount of water flow in area inside the compartment which is taken by the damaged water uh, that divided by the uh, total area. Now, for all practical purposes in our calculation if you want to if one wants to simplify you can take this as one. So, now the IL 1 that is the damage moment of inertia if this is substituted then this will be So, the calculation uh, for loss buoyancy method if you want to calculate the draft and the sinkage. So, we have to find out the uh, moment of inertia of the water plane area, damaged water plane area and after that the procedure is very simple. So, the final result will be in terms of TPC and this has to be calculated from you can see in the formula there are there is two TPC one is the capital TPC one and the other is the small TPC one which indicates that the hydrostatics of the ship as well as for the hydrostatics of the damaged compartment has to be calculated. So, the important parameters that has to be calculated one is your TPC 1 of the whole ship at that particular water line and the damage compartment TPC 1 also the moment to change stream of the whole vessel and your respective uh, center of flotations that is the center of the water plane area. So, this has to be calculated and if one multiplies by rho I L 1. So, this will give us the moment to change trim, is not it? So, previously we have calculated the formula for the trim, moment to change trim we have calculated per centimeter is this the left hand side of the equation. So, our main aim is to find out the damage draft and we have already calculated the parallel sinkage. Now, we are calculating the moment to change stream per centimeter value. So, for that we require the original moment to change stream now at water line 1 plus the relevant TPC values. So, in the lost buoyancy method the hydrostatics of both the ship as well as the compartment is necessary. Unless you have that data it cannot be calculated. So, now this process is just simplification of the formula
<coughs> now you think if you can simplify it further then it will be good because this is quite a cumbersome equation to deal with now this a square is the mean length of the lost area so s Now, we can simplify this further by eliminating some terms and before we start doing that, the we can you just uh, open up this bracket that is the square bracket and then you multiply by the numerator and denominator by TPC1 minus TPC1 and you will find that there are four terms which cancel out. So, this will yeah. MCD1 is the original moment to change stream at water plane 1. Now we are trying to cancel out some terms in order to simplify the equation. So, previous simplification we have done by equating mu s is equal to 1. We expand this term that is the square term, the whole square term. So, that gives us Now, the other terms that require simplification is the term involving the lost TPC. 
So, this term let us multiply by TPC 1 minus the small TPC 1. Now, can we simplify this equation? It is quite a long winded expression. So, this term I have multiplied both numerator and denominator by TPC1 minus TPC1, and this finally should give us. So, this is the final expression. Now, try to cancel some terms. So, this term will go TPC 1 square sigma f 1 square minus TPC 1 square. This term vanishes. Next, any other term we can vanish. The small TPC 1 that is your damaged area, damaged TPC this one will go 
because these four terms will go out. So, we are left with this reduced expression. This finally, we are getting rho i l 1 Let us see if we can simplify this still further. So, this is fun. we have got this. So, what, what does that mean? So, this expression you can write still in a simpler form. So, this is the whole square. You can write this as simply the difference between the two center of rotations square. Sorry. 
So, the left side, left hand side is the damaged MCD well and we have the right hand side we have just got three terms. So, the ultimately this uh, right as MCT damage. Now, this we have got per centimeter. So, this is per centimeter of trim. This is equals to the original MCT of the uh, water plane, undamaged water plane minus this value TPC1. Sorry, this is not row. Oops, what a bad by. So, this is the moment to change stream per centimeter. So, what will be the moment to change stream per meter? So, the MCT per meter, this I have written per centimeter. So, this will be per meter. So, you simply multiply the right hand side by 100. So, 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter. So, the moment also will be 100 times. So, this is the final expression for moment to change trim. Now, this is the right hand side expression that has been obtained. You observe that the subscripts are all 1. That means, it is with reference to the water line 1, which has been obtained after parallel sinkage. So, that means one has to calculate the parallel sinkage first in order to get to this water line and then do the MCD calculation or moment to change trim calculation. So, this is the final expression. So, this will be say our equation number 4. Now, if you want to write down the steps, so we can write calculation steps number 1. First, calculate net lost buoyancy. So, this is the first stage that is V prime. Now, this how one has to calculate if you know the damage compartment hydrostatics. You know, if you if it is not there, then one has to find out for different drafts actually what is the uh, uh, volume that it is the displacement as well as the moment of inertia. So, this V prime is below below the water line that is the original water line. Now, remember in your in the loss buoyancy calculation, this all our calculations that is one of the biggest advantage of uh, doing by loss buoyancy method is the calculation is based upon the original water line that is W L. Whereas, in the added weight method, um, one has to guess the final water line and then iterate back to the original condition. So, all our calculations are based on the uh, original uh, water plane that is W L. So, one has to calculate the damage volume up to the water line W L. So, this is the first step. Now, 
the volume as well as longitudinal center of this volume. So, that is given by x. So, in this figure, uh, actually uh, I have not shown it here, but this x will be same, the center of the volume, the, I think we have already drawn this, so to the center of volume of the damaged compartment center of volume of the layer. So, this is the sinkage layer parallelly we have got. So, just the center of buoyancy of this layer will be midway between F prime and F 1 prime. F prime is the uh, damaged center of flotation at waterline W L and F 1 prime is at waterline W L 1. So, just midway between F prime and F 1 prime is the center of the volume and distance between this and the center of volume of your damaged compartment that will give you the x. So, y x is necessary because that will give you have to calculate the trimming moment. Now, after anyway that will come later on. Now, next stage is to calculate sinkage. So, prior to your calculation of the moment, uh, calculate or rather you can write parallel sinkage. To be determined from equation 1. And this parallel sinkage that we have um, uh, calculated, you can see that there is another expression that is uh, equation number 2, where we have used both the water plane areas that is A prime and A 1 prime, we have averaged it because of the uh, curvature of the hull, both the areas are somewhat different and you can check from there. So, first one is from then verify from 2, right then verify from 2, right. So, this uh, was the parallel sinkage calculation. Now, after this we have to find out the center of flotation of the damaged water plane area at water line 1. So, now we are no more bothered about W L the original water line, but now we have to trim the ship and trimming of the ship will occur at the water line 1 uh, about the new center of flotation. So, the new damage center of flotation that is given by mid ship to F 1 prime. So, this is we have already calculated that is by uh, subtracting the moment of the lost area and this has to be calculated location of this is center of location. Remaining water plane area. this you can check this is equation 3. Now, next 
step that we have done is to calculate the MCT value, damaged MCT. So, step number four is calculate moment to change trim. per meter because our vehicles are always in meters of the damaged ship. Now this is at draft E2 is the draft at waterline 1. So, this I uh, in this is T 2. You have already drawn the diagram. So, you can check uh, that is the draft at which we are trimming the vessel. So, that is at draft T 2. This is calculated from equation 4. Now next, so what is the total trim? So calculate total trim. Now if one wants to calculate total trim, the first thing that he has to find out is the net trimming moment that has been caused by the damaged water. So, that is nothing but your damaged volume multiplied by rho, this gives us the mass of damaged water multiplied by the lever is x and divided by the moment to change trim. Now, remember this is the damaged density value that you have calculated at water line 1. So, this is the total trim that is occurring in the vessel after damage. Now, the last step is to distribute this trim about the damage del CF at the forward and aft draft. So, the final step in the calculation is calculate forward and aft draft of the ship. Now, in this loss buoyancy calculation, uh, one thing that um, I have not done is that we are calculating um, only parallel sinkage that is between WL, WL1 and we have uh, trimmed the ship, we are calculating the trim about WL1 that is we are calculating the moment to change trim values, right. Now, if, if this was a rectangular barge, you will find say instead of a ship, the problem is uh, with a rectangular barge you will find there is difference of draft, there is different draft at the four corners of the uh, barge. So, here if this was a corner compartment, say this co corner compartment has been flooded, then not only this will give a trim, is not it, about the damage center of flotation, but this will also give heel. So, there will be a starboard heel, if the, this is a starboard compartment which has been Heel. So, there will be a change in the draft at the four corners and one has to uh, calculate the draft at the four corners. So, by the same procedure we have to uh, 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 calculate that means what should be the amount of heel first one calculates the parallel sinkage then you calculate the trim from the damaged MCT and then again one has to calculate the from the transverse moment of inertia. Then on and the damaged water plane, you calculate the moment to moment for the healing moment or the amount total amount of heal. So that is the healing moment divided by the transverse uh, trim per meter, whatever is there. So all these three values have to be superimposed on the original draft to get the final draft. So in this problem, I have just sing, simply taken a forward compartment and I have assumed that the compartment is uh, flooded from port to starboard that is a athwart ship compartment from side to side, not a corner compartment. 
but uh, this problem you will find in many books that have been you have to you can calculate the draft at the four corners of the bars and the calculation will be little more expensive in order to calculate the heating moment. So, uh, now the uh, for calculation of forward and up draft, uh, for the forward draft say one wants to calculate forward draft then say this is the shape. the ship has been trimmed here. So, see this is your LCF and this is at mid ship. So, the total amount of trim is theta. So, the distance between the, the um, horizontal water line say this is x divided by this distance is how much? Say this is 0 0.5 L. So, this will be uh, mid ship to F say mid shift to f plus 0 0.5 l. So, this will give you the tan theta value is not it. So, this is equal to the total trim divided by the total length. So, from this I can calculate the value of this is the value of x. So, similarly we can calculate the up draft also. So, forward draft will be say x forward. So, that is equals to total trims multiplied by 0 0.5 plus mid ship into f 1 prime divided by L. Right. And now calculate what is the stern draft? What will be the stern draft? Standard, say x forward, say x half will be total trim multiplied by 0 0.5 minus mid ship f1 prime. So, therefore, forward draft will be instead of draft, you can write this is. Uh, emulsion or sinkage. So, this you calculate by original draft plus sinkage plus total trim multiplied by 0 0.5 plus mid ship f1 prime divided by L and aft draft will be this has to be negative. So, these are the calculations for forward and off graph. So, after this we will see about the added weight method. But I think for most of our problems, we, it is better to solve by the loss buoyancy method.